Hello guys, okay, so uh, today is uh, quite a special day because I am releasing a Trailer Hits library. Yes, a Trailer Hits library. Um, so you'll need full contact, uh, six, I think. I've put a five out there as well. There are a few things that um, the five version can't do. Um, but you know, if you've, um, there's also a, um, a WAV file pack as well that's gonna go with this, which includes um, all the hits and they've got the wash hits attached to them as well. So you, you've got some versatility there as well. Um, why did I make this library? Well, um, I thought, what is the most easiest way to um, audition hits? And I thought, well, if they were all in a contact library, um, that would um, be able to use some trickery to automate um, velocity, dynamics, and maybe a little bit of round robbing tomfoolery as well, then possibly we could um, we could maybe make a contact library that did that. And we have. Okay, so um, without further ado, you can see in front of you, um, I've called it trailer hits in here, um, but the advertising is monster hits because it can get pretty gnarly. Um, but it's just so that, um, you know, there's a, there's a brand name, but then you know when you open it up, oh, what is it? It's trailer hits. Okay, so, um, you know, I've, I've tried to do it like that. If it doesn't work, I can change it, send the script out, and it'll be magical. Um, but let's have a look through it. So you can see we've got a, a reverb and this knob here, if we start to, uh, to move it, is a cut knob. It's attached to your um, mod wheel as well. So if you wanted to make some booms out of your hits, that's not a problem either. Um, at the bottom as well, you can see by here, we have uh, five different sounds and those are subs. Um, so for some of these sounds, they might just be metal hits or some unusual sound design that you might want to layer in because um, even though that uh, this this library is a hits library, there's always different elements as well. And this this is meant as a, an introduction maybe to, to trailer hits. So you can hear the type of elements as well that are in there. So let's look at these subs. Now you might need some headphones to hear that because sub frequencies, I mean, these are all between 50 and 80 Hertz, I think. So slightly longer, weird sounding one. And then like a, a typical, um, you know, 808 kind of sounds. Okay, so we've got those kind of sounds. Then we've also got all of the hits. Um, and you'll, you'll see that they are velocity sensitive. Um, they aren't, um, so there's just actually one sample. So this is just ease of use kind of thing but they do sound quite realistic. So if I play this quietly, play it medium, and then play it loud, and everywhere in between, you can get that. And if you hold down the note, then you're gonna get that tail. And at the same time, what is happening is, um, I have automated certain parameters so that when you're playing quieter, you don't get as much top end, and it takes a little bit of the mids out as well. So it sounds more natural so that you will get that typical trailer sound that you would get from different hits um, if you were having to do this yourself. Yeah, so, um, you know, it just makes it easier there. So you can hear there's so much variation in there. There's, there's more than enough variation so that you, you know, you're not getting that machine gun effect but you, you're still getting that vibe. Yeah, because because that's still associated with that, with this um, this style, isn't it? Uh, we all associate that. So that's the first sound. We'll just go through them. It's a nice one now. Quite like that one. I made, I made that one with uh, the top snap, that really top snap is actually a toaster. <laughs> Cool. 
that one was after a vindaloo, I think. And, and, and the end, I just really like that last one. It's more of like a, a velociraptor sound. I think it's a velociraptor coughing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. I, <coughs> yeah, it was. It had a boot stuck in its uh, in its throat or something. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, you can add these this reverb as well to any of these sounds. If you want to, it's just there for convenience, really. Wash them out or just put it on a little bit. It can actually, if you, you're wanting to, uh, say we took those two notes. Yeah, E and F. On most of the patches, I think E and F or around there, um, I've put the put the patches that sound similar to each other that could be used as a round robin um, so that you could make your own rolls if you wanted to. Okay, so that's, you know, you've got that option. With, Yeah, so you know they sound sound quite good, and then and then obviously this cut here, if you take you know about that much out of it, then it already sounds like a sub sub hit. Yeah, so you can put all of that reverb in if you want, and just get really soft. The more reverb you put, is the more softer it's going to be. And these are all automatable as well. I'd, uh, you know, I'd, I'd highly recommend you automate them. So that is the first part. Then Monster hits two. It looks exactly the same, just different sounds. Um, so uh, with this idea, it was, you know, with the first one, it's your typical hits. Uh, then the uh, the hits two patch is, you know, your typical hit, but you've got a few more um, slightly quirky sounds in there. I mean, I don't think you can get much quirkier than the Velociraptor, to be honest. But, um, you know, without it going too sound design-y, I've tried to keep it within these parameters because you're going to find sound design stuff and make sound design stuff if you're going to be getting into this as well. So you can see you've still got those um, those subs as well at the bottom. Okay, no different. But then... Getting a little bit more hybrid in areas now. You'll notice there's more metal as well in this one. Cool. And uh, on that ENF as well, you've got that. Okay, moving on to the next one. I think I think actually the the hits too is probably. It's my favorite for like blending in and, and like sitting in the mix. Okay, so uh, with this one, same again with the bottom. A bit louder in this one as well because, you know, I just thought, you know, you could, you, you might want to use them for something as well. Because um, they're there actually to, to fake round robins. I nearly forgot to say that. So if I was to play, you know, something there, or so we've got a nice heartbeat. Yeah, so so layering those sounds as well is going to get you that really thick sound, especially if you, you know, you, you might have um, an introduction in, in the trailer that is like really high strings and pads. Nothing in the low end yet because you're going to bring in that later when you reach that climax. But um, you still might want that subby sound, but maybe with like a, a more more of a heartbeat vibe to it. So there's there's options here. So let's listen to the sounds. So we're starting off with just more subs because there weren't as many subs as there were in the other patches. Um, before so I, I thought that one is like halfway between because uh, it's pitched and if it is pitched in this library 
and it's going to be pitched to C. Okay, so if you use it, tune it from C, and I would say plus five or minus five either side, um, or maybe six either side, you'll be fine with that. Um, and you could do that through contact. Yeah, but it's halfway between a hit and um, a Brahmi kind of sound. So, so that one's got a bit of pitch in it as well, but it will be C, yeah? So remember that. Actually really like that one. And again, go on. On the black notes as well, I've just included the same one, um, the same sample pitched up so that you can use the black note next to it. If you want that mach machine gun sound, um, that will give you that sound as well. Okay, so that's all of the sounds. Um, as you can see, I've tried to make it as, as varied as, as possible without going into that sound design -y kind of vibe. Um, here you can see I've just created a really simple track. I've not done too much to it. Um, if I have done anything to it, you know, like, like on, these, um, on these hits, so I'm gonna show you them in context. Um, you can see that the uh, channel EQ is off at the moment and on the gain I'm taking it down by minus three um, not straight away uh, because I'm going to show you one at a time but I'm going to show you how um, you can use all three patches if you want to uh, to get different elements from them so that's what I've done here I've shown you one in context and I'll show you another and then another and then I'll show you all of them and then uh, what I'll do is this R channel is adding a little bit of compression just to finish off the mix a little bit. Um, and I've boosted the lows, uh, ducked the mids a little and put the highs up. Typical stuff that you'd see just to get a rough mix down. So that's off at the moment. All of that is off. We're gonna hear the track, um, just like two different elements really. So like an introduction kind of thing and a mid section. Obviously you'll be using them in like a, a climax section as well and they'll work exactly the same, um, but you'll just have more elements. Okay, so let's take a listen. And what I'll do is every time it passes through, I'll move over um, to the next hits patch. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn the channel EQ on that I've got on that bus, 
just taking a little bit of those low mids out um, that 4k as well taking a little bit of that out and adding a little bit more air at the top so I've done near enough no processing um, to get them to sit well because um, they were already kind of sitting well I was just making room for other instruments as you normally would and I'll turn that R channel on um, so you can hear overall what this sounds like And you'd put a little bit of reverb maybe on those on those hits as well but I didn't want to do that um, in this because I wanted to show you exactly what it sounds like so yeah if you would like to uh, buy this and support me then um, check out the link below it'll send you straight to my um, uh, my page where I sell it <laughs> and then um, yeah it'd be it'd be really 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 good to, to, to hear what you think about this as well so yeah, thank you guys, uh, take care. Godspeed.